talking about Sioux City not too long ago. It's been falling there for around 12 hours, expecting to see a couple inches of accumulation out of this for some areas. It's continuing to spread out a little bit farther to the east this morning, still watching some of those higher areas of impact that have been receiving this like Fort Dodge. Battle Creek's been seeing it Storm Lake. It's overall been pretty light snow. There's more to come though. As we look out from the fairgrounds cam toward downtown, you can see visibility has not been impacted. We're still getting that nice view, but there's definitely some cloud cover out there ahead of this system pushing on down the state 17 degrees right now, but feeling like just single digits that will continue to be the trend, if not negative wind chill values as we head into the next couple of days. We'll look at those in a moment, but first looking at those precipitation chances throughout today this afternoon, you might catch a couple flurries in central Iowa, but I think we're talking more so around two o'clock and then continuing on through the early evening commute, possibly some lingering snow showers as we head into the evening hours. So be prepared for that. That could be impacting your drive time for later today. Watching throughout this morning, though, this will primarily stay around that highway 20 zone, continuing to sink on down and stretch on out. There's that two o'clock hour for you. Pay attention as we head into the early evening hours, still lingering across I 80, but starting to break up a little bit. Part will head down to the southeast, part down to the southwest, and then we'll continue to wake up to those nice clear skies heading into your Thursday, but cooler temperatures as well. That winter weather advisory is in effect for Ida as well as Buena Vista counties. This in place until midnight tonight. It is impacting some areas a bit farther to the west. At this point, I do not think it's going to extend much further. You can kind of see the distribution with expected snowfall totals and why that is focused a little bit farther to the west as opposed towards central Iowa, where we're mostly just looking at those tenths of inches, but possibly seeing an inch or so accumulating for areas is just up to the northwest like Carroll as we head through the rest of this afternoon and into the early evening. Again, more of a dusting for other spots, but it's that timing that's everything and timing will be a big deal for tomorrow too. We'll go from those single digit barely creeping up into the double digit wind chill values this afternoon down on into those negative wind chill values, which always makes waking up just a little bit harder. But this is a view at your Thursday morning. Make sure all those layers are out and ready to go for you and the kids. Again, Thursday, that's going to be some high impact for cold temperatures. But as we head into your Friday, those temperatures improve dramatically. In fact, 20 degrees added onto your daytime high there, and then we warm it up even a little bit more heading into Saturday. That's good news. Sunshine sticking around. Make those plans for Saturday outside. You might be heading inside for a couple of days after that. We're tracking a couple rounds of moisture coming our way. We'll continue to keep an eye on that as we get a little bit more clarity as far as timing on those in the days to come.